Welcome to Imperialism Island, NFL Playoff Edition. On this island is every single NFL playoff team, and they'll be competing to be the last team standing. I'll spin this wheel to determine which team attacks first, and I'll spin this arrow to determine what direction they attack in. The winning team can poach two players from the loser, one on offense and one on defense. Our very first NFL playoff team to play is one of the favorites, Baltimore, and they'll be attacking to to the southeast, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But the attacking team has to go into the home territory of the defending team. So Tampa Bay gets home field advantage. Imperialism Island kicks off with a battle between Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. The only way this is possible in real life is if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make the Super Bowl. In Baker, we trust. First team on the board is Baltimore. Tampa Bay responds 14 to seven. Tampa Bay turns it over. Baltimore with a 21 to seven lead, but if the Buccaneers can put this in the end zone with a laser beam to Scotty Miller. Wait, who was that? Oh, Josh Palmer, Trey Palmer. I don't know my Buccaneers depth wide receivers. I apologize. Scotty Miller is not on this team anymore, is he? Name fumbling aside, Buccaneers are in the red zone. This is a crucial touchdown. If they can get it, Mayfield connects with Mike Evans. Now this is the fourth quarter, but Tampa Bay retains all their timeouts and they haven't gotten to the two minute warning yet. If they can score before the two minute warning, this is a realistic win. It's possible. Single back bunch to the left. Mayfield delivers! Chris Godwin's in the end zone. The Ravens are gonna need multiple first downs to close this game out. That's if the Buccaneers don't onside kick. Let's see what they elect to do here. This is actually a really good game. Now, I think this would have been a much more significant win for Tampa Bay because stealing one offense and defensive player means the Buccaneers could have had Lamar and Roquan Smith or Lamar and Kyle Hamilton. There's so many players on that Ravens roster, whereas I'm not sure what the Ravens are gonna steal from Tampa Bay. Maybe Mike Evans and Vita Vea? Ooh. Dude, the Ravens with Mike Evans and Vita Vea, we have a very early favorite. First and 10, first play is out of bounds. Seven yards and out of bounds to Chris Godwin. The real question is if Tampa Bay scores, are they going for two? Cause I'd go for two. Oh my God, a rocket! Is that a DPI? I think that's a DPI. <laughs> what are you doing? Tampa Bay is almost in the red zone with a minute 33 and their timeout left. Are they going to score too fast? I can't believe I'm saying that. Are they going to score too fast? Baker surveying takes off. That is risky. So risky. Baker fumbles. <sighs> oh, Tampa Bay was this close. Wow. It was not pretty, but Baltimore takes a 21 to 14 win. They're our first victors on Imperialism Island, and they're taking Tampa Bay's land. Offensively, they're taking 91 overall Mike Evans, and defensively, they're taking superstar D tackle Vita Vea. Baltimore gets the first win. Our second team to play is going to be Cleveland. And Cleveland will be attacking to the Southwest. That's the Green Bay Packers. One thing to keep in mind, boys, it does show Nick Chubb right there, but Nick Chubb is injured. So the actual running back is Jerome Ford. Just so you know, the veteran Joe Flacco taking on the youngin Jordan Love. This is an awesome matchup. I'm pretty sure Joe Flacco could be Jordan Love's father. After today, Joe Flacco might be Jordan Love's father. First on the board is Green Bay with a field goal. Cleveland responds with a touchdown. Another field goal and a Green Bay touchdown. Another Green Bay touchdown. Another Green Bay touchdown. Don't tell me Green Bay's gonna smack them. 31 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Green Bay has utterly dominated the Browns. I did not see this coming. And Green Bay's in the red zone actively trying to score. This is personal. Stefanski can't believe this, and I can't either. No way they snapped this, right? Oh my God. They're trying to score with no time on the clock. <laughs> That's just rude. Green Bay smokes Cleveland. Do they really have a shot at this map? 31 to 10. Jordan Love with a near perfect game. Joe Flacco with a trash game. Aaron Jones over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Christian Watson almost 100 yards. What a game. Defensively, Green Bay is stealing Miles Garrett. On offense, they could steal Amari Cooper. They could steal Batonio. They could steal David Njoku. They could steal Wyatt Teller. Amari Cooper is the highest overall, and Green Bay could use some wide receivers. Green Bay takes Cleveland's land. The next team to battle is the Buffalo Bills, and they will be taking on... 
to the Southwest, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two star quarterbacks, Josh Allen versus Mason Rudolph. <laughs> Pittsburgh's on the board first. Buffalo unable to score until two back-to-backs. Buffalo now 17. Pittsburgh's not done yet. 10 to 17. Wait a minute. Mason Rudolph is in five wide, empty backfield. Oh, I, oh, he's got him. <laughs> George Pickens with the touchdown. Do you go for two? I don't. I kick the PAT here and hope that your defense can hold. It's 17 to 17. Both teams have all timeouts. Let's see what Buffalo does here. Wow, this is close. With 42 seconds left and a timeout down, Buffalo is across the 50. They don't need much more. Damn, that was a tough catch. They are now in field goal range. It's just a matter of using this clock, I suppose. Such a close game, but it looks like Buffalo is going to be able to take this one. That's a first down, James Cook. This game is over, assuming they make this kick. 41-yard field goal from Tyler Bass is good. Final play of the game is going to be a Hail Mary from Mason Rudolph. He's got to go 75 yards. I'm excited to see this. He throws it. It's a fucking check down 20 yards. Okay. 20 to 17. Close game here. But Buffalo hangs on. Defensively, Buffalo's going to steal TJ Watt. And offensively, they're taking George Pickens. Buffalo and Baltimore are looking scary right now. Three teams are knocked out already. The next team to play, Miami. And the Dolphins will be attacking to the east. That's the Houston Texans. Miami's an 88 overall. The Texans are an 84. I think it's going to be a really good game. Two young quarterbacks, Tua Tungavailoa, taking on most likely the offensive rookie of the year, CJ Stroud, Nico Collins, Will Anderson, Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddell. Miami's a better team on paper, but it doesn't always matter. First on the board is Miami. Houston responds with one of their own. Miami responds. Houston responds. Miami responds. Miami's got 24. Now they got 31. What's so impressive about Houston even making the playoffs is they really don't don't have a lot of talent on that team. They play great team football, but who is Miami going to poach here? You can't poach CJ Stroud. You got to stick with Tua. The wide receivers are nothing impressive. You might even take an offensive lineman here. And with five seconds left, here's CJ Stroud's final play. Sorry, Texans fans. Miami was too much. He unloads deep. A little Hail Mary. And Mike McDaniels, the Miami Dolphins are going to take Houston's land. Tua with a 136.8, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Mostert was solid on the ground, so is Singletary. I think the Houston Texans got to give up Dalton Schultz here. And defensively, they're going to add Will Anderson, who's an awesome edge rusher. Still, he's only an 83 overall. And the next team to play is the Los Angeles Rams, who are playing my Detroit Lions in the first round. They're going to lose. I'm going to be there. I'm going to watch them lose. It's going to be fun. But let's see what they can do in imperialism. They're attacking to the Southwest. That's the San Francisco 49ers. I think we're going to see a powerhouse emerge regardless of who wins here. Brock Purdy taking on Matthew Stafford. Kyron Williams versus CMC. Ayuk and Debo versus Puka and Cooper Cup. This game's giving me chills, man. This is going to be a sick game. San Fran's on the board first. Rams score two quick ones. San Fran responds with a field goal. Rams get one of their own. It is 13 to 24. Second and six. I imagine this is a handoff to CMC. It is. He's going to make contact, but barge forward third and three. What do the Niners got? This is huge. If the Rams can stop him, this game's over. Checks down McCaffrey, who's tackled immediately. That was a questionable play call right there, and it looks like some Rams players are running off. This may be a field goal. I don't know if I agree with this play call. <gasps> it's not. They're going for it. Single back bunch on the right side. McCaffrey's in the backfield. Purdy unloads. Caught. End zone! Devo Samuel! Oh my god, that was clutch! The Niners, I don't know if you want to do a touchdown, Sally, down three in the playoffs, but I respect it. it. it oh, they're going for two. You got to go for two, right? 19 to 24, down by five, unloads, caught. George Kittle, it's 21 to 24. Rams are going to take over with a three-point lead, three timeouts for both teams. Wow, that was a clutch fourth down and a clutch touchdown. And now the biggest play of the game, third and four. The Rams have marched down. They burnt three of the Niners' timeouts. They convert this ball game. If they can't, 
hit hard, but he still got the pass off. Cooper Cup can't catch it. Nick Bosa got home. Too bad he still won't get a wheel of my card. Some of you may not understand that reference, but it's fourth and four, and I think the Rams have to kick this field goal. They will. It's going to be 27 to 21. So the Niners, with no timeouts, must score a touchdown. And with three seconds left, it's Hail Mary time. I can't believe this, but San Fran's going out in the first round. That's a hell of a game from the Rams. Matthew Stafford, three touchdowns and interception. Brock, two with no interceptions. McCaffrey was bottled. 2.8 yards per carry. Kyron Williams had 4.2 and three broken tackles. McCaffrey didn't break a single one. The Niners did not step up. It's that simple. So Rams already have Aaron Donald, 99 overall. And their next best player is 88 overall Cooper Cup. 49ers have Nick Bosa, Chris McCaffrey, Trent Williams, George Kittle. God, there's just infinite talent that you could take here. I think a Nick Bosa, Aaron Donald duo would be pretty unstoppable. And offensively, you gotta trust in Kyron Williams. He just outplayed McCaffrey. So we're gonna poach George Kittle. Rams at a 98 and a 97 overall. Damn. Our first massive upset, the Rams take the Niners land. Let's see what team is playing next. It's the Dallas Cowboys. And the Cowboys will be headed west where they're taking on the Buffalo roster. TJ Watt, Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen, Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Von Miller, Poyer, Milano. And don't forget about George Pickens, the Buffalo Bill. <laughs> Even with TJ Watt, Cowboys have a monster overall advantage. 89 to 82. This is going to be a fun game right here. Opening drive. Dallas has got seven. Dallas has got 14. Buffalo. Much needed touchdown there. Dallas has 21 before the half, but it's it's 21 to 21. Third and 12, clock is ticking. Buffalo has the football. Oh my goodness. Now, admittedly, Buffalo does not have a lot of offensive help. George Pickens is solid, but the Bills already had pretty good wide receivers. So this is really just the Bills versus the Cowboys right now until the Bills are back on defense. That's a huge throw. Put some zip on it and it's George Pickens with the catch. I'm talking shit about how that wasn't a good trade, but Pickens just made one of the biggest catches of the game. It's now first and 10. I'd expect to see Buffalo hand this ball off. Maybe milk a little bit of clock. It's a counter run to James Cook. Those are spectacular blocks. And James Cook's gonna walk in the end zone. What happened? Moses just parted the Red Sea. Tyler Bass is on for the PAT. Routine kick makes this 28 to 21. Dallas has to respond with a touchdown or Buffalo is gonna have such a good team. They're gonna steal Micah Parsons. Then they'll have Micah and TJ. And offensively, you steal CeeDee Lamb. Oh my God, this team. What does Dallas do here? Fourth and inches. They don't run it. They throw it. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess clock is of the essence, but you have a timeout. You need an inch. This game's over. Listen, there's no guarantee Dallas gets in the end zone. There's no guarantee they win in overtime, but I'm shocked by that. Wow. All right, let's watch this back. It is fourth and inches. There are four down linemen. You have five offensive linemen. Hand that ball off to Tony Pollard. Reset the sticks. Use your last timeout or spike it and give yourself a chance. And Dak throws it to triple coverage. What are we doing? I can't believe it. You had to check down too. That was just a Dallas Cowboys choke. They deserve the loss. They deserve it. Cowboys are going to take Michael Parsons and CD Lamb, a 98 and a 90. 96 overall. The Bills expand their empire. Another powerhouse goes down. And the next team to play... I'm obviously biased, but it's the Detroit Lions. And the Lions will be attacking to the east, taking on the super stacked Baltimore Ravens. Oh no. Funny enough, even with Vita Vea and Mike Evans, the base Lions team is a higher overall than the Baltimore Ravens. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still nervous. Ravens got three. Lions got seven. Ravens got seven more. It's seven to 10. 10 to 10. Come on, Lions. 17 to 10. Wait. 17 to 17. And the Lions scored a touchdown. It's 24 to 17. Ravens have all three timeouts. They're on the 40. Oh, no. What's Lamar got here? Second and two. Lamar unloads. Gus Edwards, great catch, but he's inbounds. Baltimore does use a timeout there to stop that clock. Lamar's got a real clean pocket, but Aiden Hutchinson's got him. Whose jersey do you think I'm wearing? 
Come on, baby. Second and 12, Baltimore forced to use their second timeout here. Baltimore has an amazing run game, but when they're forced to pass, how good are they? Doesn't look great right now. By the way, I'm not making a comment on the Ravens in real life. I'm talking about their Madden playbook, okay? So please shut the fuck up. Lamar's not quarterback -y enough for me. Third and five, no huddle. Within 20 seconds, not quite in the red zone yet. Lamar unloads, swatted away. That was a dot. Fourth and five, they can pick up the first down and call the timeout, but if they don't get this first down, game's over. There's only 13 seconds left anyway. Ravens gotta make a huge play here. Bunch off to the left, the check down, dropped! Odell Beckham Jr. dropped it! Oh my God, I can't believe it. He dropped the ball. First and 10, it's victory formation for the Lions. And Detroit's gonna win this one in Baltimore. Let's go! Jared Goff, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Lamar played well. Gus Edwards was really good, but Montgomery with 5.5 yards per carry. Lamar had 5.4, Gibbs had five. Jamo had a touchdown. Aminra had a touchdown. Laporta had a touchdown. And just like that, the two Super Bowl favorites, Baltimore and San Fran, are off of Imperialism Island. And Detroit takes the largest chunk. I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about this. As much as I love Jared Goff, the Lions will be stealing Lamar Jackson on offense and Marlon Humphrey on defense. Our next team to play, <laughs> Kansas City. The Chiefs will be attacking to the south. That's the Los Angeles Rams. Chiefs are headed to Los Angeles with a plus 11 overall advantage. However, the Rams do have George Kittle and Nick Bosa. God, EA really just sucks off the Chiefs, don't they? KC starts out with a field goal. The Rams have the lead. They get another, dude. This Rams team continues to defy odds, but they got to hold on. Rams with a field goal. Chiefs with a touchdown. Chiefs looking at first and goal. Could take the lead here. Kansas City would love to steal literally any wide receiver from Los Angeles. While the Rams would greatly benefit from a 99 overall quarterback and a 95 Chris Jones. Mahomes, play action, steps up. <gasps> That's an illegal touching. Oh, the Chiefs are salivating at the idea of having Cooper Cup on this team. A lunch pail guy, a lot of grit, surefire hands, would definitely let him date and marry my daughter. That guy definitely has a 401k. Second and goal from the three. Will the Chiefs run this? Rams pack that line. It's another play action. Mahomes is swarmed. Ironically, this is probably a better field position for Mahomes. And it looks like Travis Kelsey is unguarded. Mahomes, clean pocket it was a clean pocket until bobby brown nick bosa and aaron donald decided to show up it's fourth and goal and i can't believe this but the chiefs are relegated to a field goal they're gonna tie this game up both teams have all the timeouts the two-minute warning is still available it's anybody's ball game and while this reminds me a lot of the same position the rams were in before against the niners the rams were up three they needed to get in field goal range and chew some clock and they did exactly that if they could do it again here they're gonna beat the Chiefs. I can't believe this Rams team, dude. Burning some of this clock here. This is a really big conversion. They don't get this, they're punting. Stafford, sidearm, cup across the 50. I, is, is Los Angeles really gonna do this? Honestly, after that goal line stop, I think they deserve it. Cause if the Chiefs score there, it's 17-13 and you're forced to score a touchdown. Now Los Angeles can play the slow game, grab a field goal. Another check down. First and 10. Hand off Kyron Williams. Who's going to get him first? This game is over. To timeout KC. You have two left. You have 42 seconds. The Rams can kneel the ball twice. Burn both timeouts. Kneel it again. Get down to two seconds on the clock and kick a field goal. This game's over. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Obvious run scenario here for the Rams. They're going to hand off Kyron Williams. Second and eight. There's a Chiefs timeout. <sighs> I gotta tell you, boys, there's nothing I hate more than Madden simulation. <laughs> With no time left on the clock, rather than calling a timeout and kicking a field goal, the Los Angeles Rams ran the ball. Kyron Williams gets six yards, and we're headed into overtime. The Chiefs start with the ball and turn it over. <laughs> Oh my God. Despite trying their very hardest to choke this game, the Rams just hit them with the meanest ball don't lie you've ever seen, intentionally went into overtime, stopped them on defense, and now can kick a field goal to win this game in overtime, which I'm sure they won't do. 
even though they've already stopped them on defense, they're on the 11. They're still going to try and throw a touchdown here just to rub it in even harder. They're going to do that, aren't they? Oh my God. They're five wide. They're going five wide. They're going to try and throw a touchdown pass. I hope you throw a pick six, Stafford. As much as I love you, Stafford, and everything you did for Detroit, I hope you throw a pick six. Nope. He throws a laser beam touchdown to Puka Nakua in overtime. That's just messed up. The Rams have beaten the Niners and the Chiefs. Wow. Kansas City is off the map. And Philadelphia is the sole team yet to play. But before Philly can play, the Rams are going to add some superstars on offense. It's going to be Patrick Mahomes. And defensively, it's either 95 overall Chris Jones or it's 86 overall Trent McDuffie. The Rams are about to have the best D-line you've ever seen. Aaron Donald, Chris Jones, and Nick Bosa. This works out perfectly for the Rams too because the Rams actually have Aaron Donald listed as a right end, although many people would consider him a D-tackle, so their technical D-tackle is Kobe Turner, which now, of course, will be Chris Jones. So all three of those guys should be pass rushing every single play. And Stafford, we love you. Thanks for getting us here, but you gotta take 99 Patrick Mahomes. Next team to play will be Philadelphia, the only team who hasn't, and they will be taking on the Buffalo Bills to the Southeast. Eagles are obviously stacked, but look at this Bills team. Micah Parsons, TJ Watt, Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen. There are a lot of mouths to feed. You've got CD, Diggs, Gabe Davis, George Pickens. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Eagles versus Bills. Buffalo early lead, early dominant lead. Oh my God, are they going to shut out the Eagles? Okay, 24 to 3. Dude, Philly's getting waxed. 11 to 27, 11 to 30. And it's victory formation for Buffalo. Philly had four. Four turnovers. Oh my. This is the team to beat. Philly waited all that time just to get smacked around. Buffalo has so many good wide receivers that they'll be stealing Lane Johnson and Darius Slay. And now that every team has played at least one game, it's anybody's island at this point. And the next team to play is one we haven't seen in a while. The Green Bay Packers with 98 miles Garrett and 90 overall Amari Cooper from beating the Browns. And no shot here. They're attacking to the Northeast. That's the Detroit Lions. It's an NFC North matchup here. The Lions, of course, beat the Monster Ravens team and now have Lamar Jackson at quarterback and Marlon Humphrey in the secondary. 78 overall versus 79 overall. Zero to zero. Lions on the board first. Lions on the board second. Packers still haven't scored. There they go. 14 to seven. Still 14. Oh, it's 14 to 14. Lions score a touchdown. Oh my God. So Green Bay could kick a field goal here, but it looks like they're going to go for it. It's fourth and 11. That's pretty deep to be going for it. I mean, they do have three timeouts, so maybe it's not entirely the ball game. Jordan Love unloads and is blanketed and it didn't even have a shot now lamar and the lions are gonna trot it out there all they really need is a first down here lamar with david montgomery amon St. brown sam laporta hands off montgomery take that for three yards and there's the first packers timeout second and seven lions run game i don't know third and four to seal the game it's a counter blown up Jordan Love's got to get the touchdown, though. He starts at the 38. He's got no timeouts. Second and inches almost in Lions territory. And with that catch, they are. And he's out of bounds. What a play. Five wide. He's got Watson. He's got Amari Cooper. Jaden Reed. Let's see what Jordan Love's got. Uncorks it. He's got him right over the middle. That's Jaden Reed, my Eskimo brother. Have I ever mentioned that? I don't know if I ever told you guys that. First and 10. 20 seconds left. 15, flushed out, throws, caught. Tucker Craft, dude, you're lying. Tucker Craft did not just make the most clutch play. Are you going for two? I see the defense out there. I think they're going for two. No, not like this. No, don't let the fucking Packers beat us. You know what's funny? If the Niners had beat the Rams, this would have been our first round wildcard matchup. It would have been Lions versus Packers. Oh my God, two point conversion for all the marbles. Jordan Love drops back, unloads. Not Tucker Craft! It's Tucker Craft again, isn't it? Oh my god, Tucker Craft owns me! Dude, why couldn't it be fucking Luke Musgrave? Who is this bum? Nobody's heard of you! Bro, we had the ball with a minute 30? Couldn't do a damn thing with it. Punted it away. 
I'm so mad. We just lost. 351 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions, and we still lost. Lamar played amazing. How did we not convert with this? That's how. 2.3 yards per carry. Pitiful run game. Absolutely pitiful. Aaron Jones looks good. Broke some tackles. Montgomery didn't do a damn thing. And look at that. Amari Cooper, five for 101 and a touchdown. Dude, I'm sad. Wow. The Green Bay Packers now have the largest chunk. Oh my goodness. Looks like Lamar Jackson is getting bounced around teams. Reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. And defensively, it's going to be Aiden Hutchinson. Only four teams remain on the Imperialism Island. And Miami is up next. They haven't seen action in a while either. Kind of reminds me of you. Miami has a few potential opponents here. <laughs> and they're headed to the Northwest where they take on the largest chunk of the map the green bay packers the dolphins are low-key already stacked but they beat the texans who did not have a lot to offer their additions were dalton schultz which they really did need and then will anderson for some pass rush the packers started with a much worse team but have poached some monsters miles garrett lamar jackson they've got jair and bakhtiari amari cooper aiden hutchinson so far the packers have been crazy clutch i wouldn't be shocked if they did it again the dolphins are headed to green bay last time Miami played, they put up 31. They got 10 here. They got 13. They got 16. Green Bay needs a touchdown. And they get three, 24 to 10. Oh my God, they put up 31 again. Dolphins are looking to punch one more in. Clearly the highest scoring offense on the Imperialism map. I don't think any other team has even put up past 30. And the Dolphins have done it twice now. That's victory formation. Even with all that help on defense, the Packers get 31 hung on them. The Cinderella story is over. Miami now commands the entire west side of Imperialism Island. Only Buffalo and Los Angeles remain. The Dolphins will be stealing Miles Garrett and Amari Cooper with only three teams teams remaining the next team to attack is the los angeles rams who recently acquired patrick mahomes and chris jones they'll be attacking to the north the buffalo bills taking a look at this matchup the rams have patrick mahomes aaron donald nick bosa george kittle chris jones cooper cup kyron williams puka nakua even with that roster, the Bills have the overall advantage. They've got Micah Parsons, TJ Watt, CD Lamb, Lane Johnson, Stefan Diggs, Darius Slade, Josh Allen, Tredavious White. And don't forget about George Pickens. I know he's way down there, but they did get George Pickens. The winner of this game will poach two insane players and then take on the Miami Dolphins to crown the king of Imperialism Island, boys. The Rams are headed to Buffalo. This is basically the AFC or NFC championship. Whoever wins here is headed to the Super Bowl awaiting Miami. It's Josh Allen versus Patrick Mahomes. The Rams have a lower overall team, but two 99 overalls. The Bills have no 99 overalls, but a lot more firepower altogether. And they've got home field advantage. Let's kick this game off, boys. Buffalo starts with the ball. All I ask is for a good game. Rams are on the board first. Buffalo returns with three. We're all tied up and the second quarter ends we're still tied up it's a low scoring game oh my god wait a minute we have the most high power teams i've ever seen and it's 10 to 3 i guess defense really wins championships los angeles is on their heels though it's second and 11 two minute warning coming up buffalo wants to chew this clock rams want to stop them fakes the handoff play action checks it down to james cook that's gonna be a tackle third and three this is a crucial down if the rams cannot stop the bills right here they might just outright lose the game it's a 40 second play clock they have two timeouts this is such a big stop right here for the rams you gotta blow this up if it's a run it's not it's a pass it's a quick one and it's dropped joseph no boom lays the hammer on stefan diggs not only are the bills gonna have to punt but the clock is stopped patrick mahomes has two timeouts a minute 50 51 and 76 yards to go that said they haven't gotten in the end zone a single time today i can't believe that I thought this game was gonna be 35 to 31 first and 10 split backfield mahomes over the middle cooper cup you know he is geeked to have a wide receiver who can catch second and three they don't look like they're too hurried right now they honestly have a good amount of clock mahomes laser 
Puka Nakua has got it out across the 50. No timeouts used yet. The Rams have a really good shot here. I wonder if they go for two. Mahomes is flushed out. Don't forget how good that defense is. Micah Parsons with the sack. Rams go no huddle. They don't use the timeout. It's second and 17. Mahomes uncorks it deep. Oh my God, that was a dot. I cannot believe he just entrusted Tutu at... With the wide receivers you have, block is picked up, but not well enough. I understand why. Darius Slay, Von Miller, Micah Parsons. This Bills defense is something else. This is the game right here. You convert this or it's all over. Fourth and 17. Mahomes is flushed out. Unloads. Swatted. Oh my God. This Bills defense is nuts. Hey, he went to his guy. I respect the throw. Bills defense just too damn good. And that's all. She wrote two timeouts left, but it's a 40 second play clock, meaning three QB kneels and the Bills walk home with this one. There are so many players you could steal here and the Bills already do have a crazy D line, but you can never leave Aaron Donald there. And offensively, it's got to be George Kittle. And for our final matchup, boys, the Miami Dolphins are taking on the Buffalo Bills. And this is what I love about imperialism. The Bills have played so many tough games. And for winning those games, they have an amazing roster going into this final game. Aaron Donald, Micah Parsons, George Kittle, TJ Watt, CD Lamb. Now, the Dolphins haven't played nearly as many tough games, and they still made the Super Bowl. However, the roster reflects that. They still got Miles Garrett, that's an amazing pickup for them. But Amari Cooper, Dalton Schultz, and Will Anderson, that's all they have to show for it. Let's see if that's enough for Miami. The 85 overall Miami Dolphins taking on the 87 overall Buffalo Bills. Vegas has set the spread at Bills minus three and a half. Feel free to gamble responsibly. The Super Bowl! Featuring Josh Allen, Tua Tungavailoa, C.D. Lamb, Tyree Kill, Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons. It all comes down to this. In one of the nicest, newest stadiums on planet Earth. You couldn't ask for much more, boys. Opening drive! Buffalo's got seven. Miami responds with seven. Buffalo's got another seven and another. 14 to 21. 21 to 21. Holy shit. I hope you bet the over, boys. Third and six. This is a big down right here. Josh Allen whips it quick. C.D. Lamb. Josh Allen, almost 200 yards, three touchdowns. He's already gone to C.D. Lamb a lot. I think that's his new favorite target. George Kittle's out there in single coverage this time. Dude, I'm telling you, that's why he keeps going to C.D. Lamb. Still 21 to 21, second and 10 here. Josh Allen scrambling, tucks the ball and gets sacked by Will Anderson. Turns out beating the Texans might have been pretty good. Third and 14, it's a deep field goal if they're going to take it or it's a pooch punt. I don't know. That's a slip screen? To it's a tight end screen. That is a weird play call on third and 14. I respect it. And Buffalo will probably take three here. They're going to trot Tyler Bass out. Tyler Bass from 50. Oh, he does pin it. Yeah, it's not a freebie. Second and five. I tell you what, this Buffalo Bills team has a nightmare squad, but Miami is putting up a fight. That's Aaron Donald on one edge and Micah Parsons on the other. Tua uncorks it. It's good. It's dropped. I thought for sure he had him and the Dolphins are going for this. Fourth and six. Oh, this is big. This is big. <laughs> Tua looks for Tyreek, but that defense is just too good. Bills take over, but there's a lot of life left in this game. It's a three-point lead. You're not in scoring range quite yet. There's still the two-minute warning. If you bet minus three and a half Buffalo, you don't quite yet have it. So you're hoping for at least a field goal here. First and ten. Hand off to James Cook. He'll take it for four yards. Casual close-up of Miles Garrett's ass cheeks. So now it's 21-24, third and six. No two-minute warning yet. Miami's got two timeouts. It's a big down. Unloads George Kittle. He's got it. Oh. George Kittle with a massive catch. So Miami's got one timeout left. Two-minute warning will stop the clock. One more first down out of Buffalo. This game is over, but they got to get it first. Looking like another handoff. No, no way you just went play action. <gasps> Touchdown, George Kittle! <laughs> and 
Everybody in that stadium thought they were going to go conservative and chew the clock. George Kittle touchdown. Holy shit. Miami is not done yet, though. 50 seconds on the clock. They're on the eight. If they get this right here, second and goal. Not only are they determined to ruin the spread, but if they can score, they have a chance at the onside kick. This game is not over. Motions most stirred out. Two on an empty backfield. Unloads. <laughs> he goes to Tyreek in single coverage. It's now third and goal from the eight. Can the Bills defense really hold him here? Tua looks. That was too easy. And look who it is. Dalton Schultz. Don't know what the hell Amari Cooper is doing. What is Amari Cooper doing? Holy shit. The PAT to ruin your bet. There goes your eight leg parlay. There goes your house. There goes your second mortgage. 28 to 31. Miami needs an onside kick. Tell me the Bills are ready for this. Onside kicks up in the air. It's caught. Wait, he's got room. Wait a minute. How's that bitch? <laughs> The spread. Gabe Davis, don't you care about the spread? 28 to 31. I think the Bills are going to kneel this. Or they could go for it. They could go for this. First and 10. The Bills are in victory formation. Honestly, that Miami team put up a hell of a fight. The Super Bowl did not disappoint. That big boy trophy getting trotted out. That's all she wrote, boys. Josh Allen with an almost perfect QBR, 17 for 24, four passing touchdowns. Mostert was insane on the ground. He kept Miami in at 112 yards, two touchdowns. James Cook was just all right. CeeDee Lamb was the guy. Five receptions, 130 and two. Tyreek Hill had three for 124 and one. It was a battle. Defensively, Terrell Bernard had an interception. Aaron Donald had a sack. Will Anderson had half a one. Jerome Baker had half a one. I gotta say, I expected more sacks out of these crazy D lines. Aaron Donald only had one. Miles Garrett with zero. Wilkins with zero. TJ Watt with none. Michael Parsons with none. I'm shocked by that. Those are two monsters, man. And just like that, gentlemen, the final move is in place. The Buffalo Bills conquer the entire imperialism island. Will this same result be mirrored in real life? It's possible, boys. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Absolute hater. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.